You are now a part of a public service organization which is an important factor in our everyday life. Daily, in almost every city and town throughout the country, buses transport millions of people. Bus transportation has helped to make possible our great industrial progress and has made it easy for people to come and go as they please. Bus transportation is an important part of American life, and your job as a bus operator is important, too. This is where you work, a business on wheels. Your bus may vary a little in size or appearance, but they're pretty much the same. This is your office. When you're in this seat, you're on your own and have full responsibility. What you do and how you do it is largely up to you. But there are three important things a successful operator keeps in mind. Always operate your bus so as to ensure the comfort and safety of your passengers and others who use the street. Make your service reliable, start your trips on time, and stick to your schedule as closely as possible. Maintain at all times a courteous, friendly, and helpful attitude toward your passengers. Public opinion is often influenced by appearance, so check your appearance before starting your run. Keep your shoes well shined. A clean, well-pressed uniform is not only a morale builder, but it makes a good impression on your customers. A clean-shaven face helps you start the day right. A neatly tied tie and properly adjusted cap add to the picture. Pay particular attention to keeping your hands and nails clean. Careful attention to these points will help you to start work each day with greater confidence and will start you off right with your passengers. The character of the service that you will handle will vary with your route and the time of day. Your job is never monotonous. On many routes, the day starts with the transportation of industrial workers. Here, the problem is the movement of a large number of people in a short space of time. Next come the people who work in offices, stores, banks, and similar places of business. They, too, must be given comfortable, safe, and reasonably rapid transportation. After the industrial and office workers have been taken care of, you get the school children. It's your job to deliver them safely every morning. Next come the shoppers, visitors, and travelers, and the people who just go places. The variety, the responsibility, and the constant change all help to make your job interesting. 
In your day's work, you'll constantly meet all kinds of people. If you have a courteous manner, a friendly smile, and an interested, helpful attitude, your job will be made easier. Add to this reliability and safe, careful driving, and you will be a successful operator. Of course, it isn't always smooth sailing. You sometimes have difficult situations to handle. Be tactful, explain things quietly and courteously, and you'll usually calm the passenger. And don't forget, when you do this, you're sure to get a friendly reaction from your other passengers. Don't lose control of yourself, or you'll lose this support. Become acquainted with your supervisor as soon as possible and rely on his suggestions and advice. His knowledge and experience will be helpful to you in many instances. You'll often see or meet your supervisor on the route. Sometimes it's just a friendly greeting. Sometimes he has instructions for you. Carry out to the letter such instructions or suggestions as he may give you. His instructions are for your good or for the welfare of your passengers. They should be followed without fail. The maintenance of your schedule is an important part of your job. Schedules are carefully worked out so as to give the best possible service to your customers. By keeping on your schedule, you're making your job easier. Schedules were made for the convenience of the public and to help you. Do everything you can, consistent with safety, to run on time. Let's see what happens when a schedule is not maintained. If your trip is started ahead of schedule, you miss some passengers that you should be carrying. Here, number one bus is running on schedule. Number two bus is ahead of schedule and picks up more time because it has few passengers to pick up. Number three bus starts out on schedule. As a consequence, this bus has to pick up the passengers which missed number two bus because number two bus is ahead of schedule. This extra passenger volume delays number three bus and soon it becomes overcrowded and has to pass up passengers. This also has an effect on number four bus, which is slowed up by its leader and also gets off schedule. In the meantime, number two bus, which caused all the trouble by starting early, continues to pick up time because it is traveling light and runs close behind bus number one. When you fail to keep on your schedule, trouble accumulates for those who follow you. Don't be the operator who starts trouble for his followers. Your job and the jobs of those who work with you will be easier and the public will be better served if you make every effort to run on schedule. The manner in which you operate your bus in relation to other uses of the street is important. The pedestrian always has the right of way, and anyway, it's poor policy to antagonize a potential customer.
Observe the rules of good driving at all times to promote the safety of your passengers, your own safety, and the goodwill of other users of the street. You have a good job that's important, interesting, and permanent. If you follow these suggestions, your job will be made easier and more pleasant for you. In review, be careful of your personal appearance. Follow the suggestions and instructions of your supervisor. Endeavor to maintain your schedule. Give consideration to other users of the street. Be considerate, friendly, and helpful. And above all, drive carefully. <laughs>